Amber Nights is a fast-paced action roguelite that is currently in early access. While the core gameplay is reminiscent of games like Hades, the beautiful art style, fluid combat and co-op mode for up to four players make it a welcome addition to this genre. Minions of a mad sorcerer have corrupted the lands, and you are one of the knights who are supposed to restore energy to the amber tree and rid the worlds of evil. Armed with nothing but a blade, you embark on a journey into strange realms and face hordes of enemies to retrieve the stolen amber. Currently, there are three different biomes, each of which is divided into rooms that need to be cleared of enemies. At the end of each area, there's a boss and you will also encounter one mini-boss per biome. While the multi-stage bosses are always the same, there are variations of the mini-bosses with slightly different attacks. Sometimes you can decide which path to take next. In some rooms you can gain gold, health or amber, whereas in others you can choose from a limited selection of relics, skills and stats that can form powerful synergies. Enemies are tough and some can kill you with a few hits, so you need to time your dodges and attacks correctly. Since death is permanent, you will lose all progress, including every skill, relic, buff and piece of gold you collected during a run. However, you don't have to start completely from scratch. All amber you collected can be used to unlock permanent upgrades that make future runs a whole lot easier. The Amber Tree can grant you max HP, gold, damage, revive tokens and much more. And by slaying a certain amount of enemies, new skills and relics become available. At the time of this review, there are only two weapons, the blade and a bow you have to unlock with Amber. The bow feels slightly more powerful, but both weapons are fun to use. And as you can see in the roadmap, more weapons, relics, skills, enemies and bosses will be released during early access. Like I mentioned before, Amber Nights isn't an easy game, but it's also not particularly difficult for a roguelite. This is largely due to the incredibly fluid movement and clean visuals, where you can easily see everything that's happening. Also, I feel like the devs have been very generous with the dodge. There are healing items right before each boss fight, and one of my favorite things about this game, skills neither have cooldowns nor require mana. Instead, you recharge them by hitting enemies with normal attacks, which means that you never have to worry about saving up a skill for later. It's also great that there's already a solid variety of skills that range from fire cones and bombs to ballistas and cyclones, each of which has a charged attack that deals more damage if you hit the timing right. For the most part, what is included in the game already feels very polished. The only technical issue I had were lags in boss fights, where a lot was happening. I only noticed this three times, but obviously it's the last thing you want to happen during a boss fight. Other than that, I felt like the normal enemies in the second biome were much harder than those in the third, which was a bit of a letdown. And lastly, there isn't much of a story yet, and I would love for the worlds and the hub area to be filled with much more life in the full release. Overall, Amber Nights is a very fun and promising game that has already improved a lot from the combat demo I played a while ago. I'm really looking forward to what's to come and highly recommend checking it out if you're in the mood for some fluid hack and slash action. Thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and let me know what you think of this game in the comments below.